Hello friends and welcome to our spiritual warfare prayer entitled Exercising Spiritual Authority Over Our Cities, States, and Nations. It's judgment time. We call the shots. Let's pray for protection first. Father in heaven, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Father, we ask right now, according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, which says the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Father, we ask right now that you camp your angels around all of us here uh, participating of this prayer. Also around our loved ones, our family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws and friends to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The word of the Lord says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we now renounce on behalf of this city, state, and nation all opportunities for ground held by Satan, his demons, and human agents in relation to these legal jurisdictions. According to Luke chapter 8, verse 17, which says, For nothing is secret that will not be revealed nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. We now expose and declare judgment over all Satan's wicked spirits, their schemes and assignments, and all evil works carried on by Satan's human agents over the city, state, and nation. The word says, do you not know that the saints, God's people, will judge the world. And if the world will be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Do you not know that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 2 and 3. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by the power of his shed blood on the cross, we now command to come to light. All Satan's evil actions carried on by his demons and human agents in the city, state, and nation. We also put a limit to these actions. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we now revoke all controlling powers of darkness over all governing authorities ruling over the city, state, and nation. We now bring to judgment all secret satanic agenda, corruption and wickedness in high places being exercised over these jurisdictions in the name of money, sex, control, and power. We also expose and bring to judgment all secret works of darkness done by satanic entities and organizations with the purpose of expanding the territories of the kingdom of Satan in the city, state, and nation, and negatively influence the, and brainwash the minds of vulnerable people, bringing destruction upon this city, state, and nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we now bring to judgment all demonic strongholds established throughout this city, state, and nation, with the purpose of expelling righteousness godly and moral principles from our schools and introducing wickedness to our children and young adults. Satan, all your evil works over the city, state, and nation, and also over the airwaves, is now being judged by our living God, creator of heaven and earth. We now demand that all corruption and wickedness in high places over the city, state, and nation, be now exposed and brought to light and to judgment by the courts of heaven, 
where our righteous judge presides. We now command confusion to enter the enemy's camp, causing major chaos among Satan's demons and evil human agents. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let your will be done this day on earth as it is in heaven. Father, surround this city, state, and nation with your mighty army of warrior angels with the purpose of removing all unrighteousness from these legal jurisdictions. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, believers, make sure you play this prayer repeatedly throughout the day, okay? And, uh, and we believe that you're going to start noticing, you know, positive changes happening in your neighborhood, city, state, and nation. Amen. Make sure you watch the news to see what is that that is being brought to light by our living God in heaven. Amen. God bless you now and have a good day. Bye-bye.